My dear viewers, welcome to today's reading. This reading is for Tuesday, March 28, 2023, and it's for everybody, for the whole collective. I hope you will enjoy it. Let us see what today the universe wants to tell us. What is one message from these? Oh, this is a nice one. The ocean. Wow. Let's have a look with the glasses on. What is the ocean all about? This angel is talking about the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and smoothing you. Okay, so it's about smoothing your soul. It's about healing. It's even uh, about the act of imagining yourself dipping into healing womb brings about desirable effects. So better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Okay, so this is about being near the ocean, spending time um, replenishing, drinking water is part of this too also, bringing a little bit of water into your life. And um, being around water helps you... Um, removes it washes away all your cares and your worries and your concerns so spending quality time around the water even if you go just to drive you know um on the ocean road you will really enjoy um the replenishment and and i feel like um the universe knows better and they know by you going around somewhere near the sea it will help you um replenish and and feel much better actually all your cares and worries you know you get to connect you get to breathe more you get to connect with your higher self and then you become stronger the more you connect with your higher self the stronger you become let's have a look at the um, sacred forest for today and see what it says yes you are going to be empowered you are going to be strengthened the foundation from the foundation from your core from your soul from your deepest deepest um foundations you are going to be blossoming and, and becoming stronger the strength card is about giving you the power and the energy to move forward let's have a look at these two cards here for march 28th the first one for everybody it says the face this is all about money investing taking risks now that's something i never um encourage but some of you could be taking risk so look at things um deeper and um, this could be also about fame jobs to do with fame self-made kind of fame or self-made uh, situations or businesses it's about exposure it's about reputation it's about uh, all these things that will affect you because the phase here is to do with exposure and reputation but the most important factor here is that money is coming investing is there but also taking risks um you've just got to be a bit careful with taking risks okay that's all now the next one let's have a look the second one for the whole collective and there it is i'll just take this out of the way and let's have a look at this and it says the gift this is what we had the day before and this is about a sudden windfall there it is you see that a sudden windfall so giving and receiving generosity uh, there's a lot of money could be a lot of money coming we'll see if the ten of wealth comes out or the four of pentacles um financial support career in regard to financial support um work surprise vacation the gift is about a lot of things and one of the main thing about the gifts is that there is some gift that is going to be given to you a beautiful glorious gift let's have a look at um, what are major four major matters that will impact everybody i'll just put this here 28th of march for the whole collective and we've got the ace of pentacles there is some gift coming yes without a doubt the ace of pentacles can be the greatest gift it can also be um the beginning of something wonderful like a new project that will bring you abundance is the beginning of prosperity so a new beginning that is going to bring you abundance and and a lot of happiness with that then we've got the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles is a bit scary because it is about sometimes it's about abandonment sometimes it's about illness and sometimes it's about loss of money i always see it as a matter of abandonment or loss of money um more than health and because we've got the face here that you've got to be very careful so that um you know you don't take any risks even though they're taking risks because it can be loss of money so you've got to be very careful um in regard to the five pentacles but we'll find out i'll clarify it and see what it is uh, there is um a lot of transformations taking place in your life with the hierophant you're becoming wiser spiritual growth you're uplifting your um 
your ideals you might be thinking of doing extra uh, improvement on your well-being on your spiritual uh, self on your um, life upgrading your life some of you could be committing to you know um commitment actually you know getting engaged getting married some of you could be committing to taking on a new responsibility or a new business some of you could be committing to um move to your well-being you know joining uh, fitness uh, groups and and classes some of you um could be joining spiritual places it is about um abiding by rules and regulations and wisdom and growth and a lot of transformations with all that but committing to something to upgrade your life rewards expansion there it is the three of wands about rewards expansion in your life reaching to the next level transcending where you are today and i am going to clarify again we'll see what they're all about you are the two of wands and then we've got the, the three of wands uh this is about moving relocating to a better place perhaps there is one correct choice and the correct choice is going to take you to the greatest happiness I'll just remove these cards and talk about what you don't see coming. Uh, like I said, relocation, movement to a better place. And then we've got um, the Seven of Swords. This noise is very loud. It's, uh, I think it's the water next door neighbors. They're opening it very loud. Um, Seven of Swords is um, about the next um the, the the most important choice that you need to make the right correct answer there's only one correct answer which you will be in that position uh, to make very soon and then ultimately you are going to have a lot of your wishes and dreams being granted remember that now with this here and the gift it just shows that there is going to be um, something wonderful happening because the gift and you know i know it says windfall and abundance it is about generosity and windfall and abundance but it's also about having some of your dreams established so some of your dreams could be relating to this and the beginning of prosperity altogether just shows that you are in for a great surprise and something incredible is about to take place so yes now this is what you don't see coming okay now let's move forward to before uh, clarifying the cards i'll just see what the egyptian gods have for us one message 28th of march Oh, there it is in my hand. Okay. Um, this is about... Okay, so Nefertum was all about actually reaching to a level of absolute completion so one chapter of your life you're absolutely completing it and reaching to the next level which is all about rewards um a last chapter feeling absolutely that you've done everything you can and there's no more you can do uh, that is a complete completing a, a chapter of your life um, before i go further i'll just do your guardian angels message for you for today for the whole collective and there it is and it's a success so success is there without a doubt and this is also the card of success and you've got of course the um the gift this is all about success it's success and it's all its glory in every way so we got the gift and we got the ace of pentacles about beginning beginning of success beginning of prosperity it's all coming for you okay now i'm going to start clarifying everything let's go and we'll start with the ace of pentacles and see what oh what the ace of pentacles is all about just let me fix these properly okay ace of pentacles for the whole collective march 28th and the truth ace of pentacles okay so your higher self is trying to let you know what's going on it has been telling you've been getting hints your intuition is saying you you're going you're going somewhere you're leaving you're leaving a situation which is troublesome a situation which the truth of the matter is you're no longer happy there so you are leaving for a better six of swords going towards the light towards a better life and towards what prosperity you are destined for prosperity and this is the beginning of prosperity and it's showing that you're moving towards prosperity you are going to expand just like the three of wands here there's the three of wands again you're expanding your financial life is becoming better more secure and there is someone of earth energy that you might be um, leaving behind or meeting perhaps earth energy virgo taurus capricorn so we'll leave that i'm not taking cards out because they might still come out let's have a look at the five of pentacles and see what the five of pentacles is all about for the whole collective okay so it does look like um even though the, it might be there it is again the queen of pentacles wow 
Okay, these are true stories. I see now why it's coming. Some of you may be feeling abandoned. Those of you of Earth energy. Earth energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you might be feeling abandoned, feeling lonely. I feel like situations are going to improve. Um, and, and you might, you will be meeting someone who's going to be spectacular, someone which is like your soulmate that you are going to be healing together, becoming strong together, growing together. So you won't be alone without a doubt. You're expanding, you're having your wishes and your dreams together with this person. Um, I feel like that's, that's the first thing. But the second thing, I'm going to take this out because they're very important. Yes, this could be connection to, uh, not could, 100%. This is to do with earth energy. Uh, Virgo, very strong, very strong uh, Virgo. Now, what is happening here? Um, I feel like, okay, first, these are, there's two stories, that's why, uh, affecting, the, and, and for others, uh, I feel like there's going to be a business that uh, you are going to find a partner where you are going to be doing exceptionally well together. I also feel that there's a beautiful love story here, connecting with your soulmate and having a beautiful, glorious life. Since we have the Hierophant here, there could be a lot of um, happiness, uh, there could be a commitment to having a great life, to have that, you know, wishes and dreams being fulfilled, that could be a possibility, right? But the other thing is, um, for some of you, um, this is about financial freedom and money. Money and financial freedom. This is financial freedom. Money coming to you unexpected, large amounts of money. This could be part of your wish that you've wanted. Um, and having financial freedom, having a lot of abundance, a lot of money coming to you unexpected that you want to protect and put into action. Now, remember not to invest, uh, you know, like you have to, if you have to invest, make sure you find everything out and just be 100% because. Otherwise, there could be a loss here incurred. So you just got to be very careful. Some of you could be going through some uh, people who are connected to Earth energy or even air, a Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or either both parties. Uh, there is a matter of abandonment, feeling like you're left in the cold and, and being abandoned. But the universe is saying, even though you may be feeling that way, someone wonderful is coming and you are destined for a gift from the universe. Someone wonderful is coming. Uh, it's going to be your soulmate and you are going to have a great life together so you don't have to really worry um, and feel that you will be lonely so that is great now we'll go to the Hierophant and see what the Hierophant is for the collective I know it's about commitment to many things well it is going to relieve you from a, a situation where you've been anxious and not knowing where you stand it is about commitment someone wonderful is coming in your life someone with earth energy on fire earth being Virgo Taurus Capricorn they have got Virgo in them or you could be a Virgo and uh, fire energy Sagittarius Leo Aries they've got fire in them and and they're coming in your life there this new beginning could be the beginning of love the new beginning of a project that's going to be spectacular you are going to have a commitment with this person this person is going to be like your soulmate your soulmate uh, depression and anxiety is coming to an end once you make this decision now some of you uh, could be in the situation where you're thinking, you know, I'm alone, what to do. Perhaps it is that that you're thinking of joining something, like going to, um, you know, to a place. That's why they're saying the ocean. Like the ocean is just going and, and f refreshing your mind and knowing what to do next. And perhaps by joining a place like a gym, a swimming center, a dancing place or something, you might meet someone spectacular because I feel like those of you who are feeling abandoned uh, and not emotionally satisfied, you will be emotionally very happy and you will meet someone spectacular. There is a new beginning that is going to ignite and ignite a passion within you your wishes and dreams are going to be completed by the soulmate the person that left you or the person that you left wasn't your soulmate this is going to be a soulmate situation fulfillment to the highest level and degree emotional fulfillment so that's what's happening here even though this is there but <laughs> That's what's happening. So um, I feel like you are going to be committed to someone wonderful. I feel like you are changing your life. You're becoming a spiritual growth. You're growing some more and you want to go and do things. You want to take action. And by taking action, you are opening the doors for this new beginning that's going to uplift you to the next level. Okay, so yes, in an area of your life where you're feeling defeated, um, this growth, this transformation that will take place with the Hierophant is going to take you to a better level and there won't be any more 
um, you know, sadness, depression, sleepless nights because of this new beginning, because you're destined for a lot of happiness. Remember that. So let's see um, the three of wands. Where does it take you? Opening your mind. This is also about seeing the bigger picture, being more. That's why they're saying the ocean. By going out and going to the ocean, your mind opens up. You see the bigger picture. You start breathing. You start understanding. Why did this happen? Why did they leave? Why do I feel this way? And it all falls into place. Um, there will be celebration. There is happiness. You'll understand why something has come to an end. Maybe you were grieving the loss of someone. Then you are celebrating that this person wasn't destined for you you are going to have the support of someone and the strength and you are moving forward and there is abundance and there is abundance <laughs> i'm sorry for doing that but it's all connected the three of um, chalice the three of cups is about um celebrating something incredible and it looks like to me something that wasn't working something that has reached a dead end some truth put an end to something so you're having you're seeing the bigger picture you're understanding that uh, you have to go to the next level and the next level is going to be spectacular whether it's emotional fulfillment or um or a matter of money, business, work. Uh, there is someone that's going to be very supportive, or this could be connected to someone, um, someone very supportive, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They've got that in them, so they're very capable. You are given the strength, the power. Look at that, the strength card again. You are given the strength to move forward. You are given the strength to move forward because there's something spectacular there for you. There's an amazing life waiting for you, a life of abundance, a life of happiness. With the Empress, the Empress is all about abundance nurturing power that gives you someone that will truly love you and take care of you and those of you who are who are having issues with money you are going to be taken care of also why because there is a rise in your money um it could be a business because of a business partner because um of the abundance of this wealth that is destined for you uh, but we do have the empress and the empress is about a nurturing power that um, brings you abundance in every area of your life so of course your money life is affected big time so money is coming um, dramatically changes big sums unexpected this is all happening and with the gift what does it mean with the gift um, in the in the process of all this the gift uh, the gift what it does for us it gives us a windfall for some of us not all of us for some of us could be after one year or two years but for some of us um, and I know I'm not one of the, one of us but <laughs> for some of us it could be a windfall it could be a windfall big money unexpected that dramatically changes your life it could be a windfall very easily so always uh, open the channels by playing very small that's what i say when you play a lot of lottery play very small open the channels i've said it a hundred times and um, the reason i repeat everything is some of you are getting tired of me repeating because i have no choice there's new people coming and i'm constantly bombarded with questions that i keep repeating over and over you always play i don't promote lotto or lottery i believe in opening channels to the gods or to the to the angels to give um, blessings through that because I don't believe in gambling that's why because I talk about lots of lottery because I don't believe in gambling and for me putting money in stock market or putting anything that's risky for me is a gamble because I'm a non-gambler -gamb non I don't like gambling so I always open the channels by five dollars sometimes two dollars I play a month and I just put some numbers that were given to all of us uh, through meditation I just put them up there I just play them and think you know if it comes it comes if it doesn't come it doesn't I'm not going to go spending a lot of money I don't believe in that. I believe in in faith and I believe that when it's the right time, everything will happen at the right time. So in the meantime, um, that's the reason a lot of you are wondering why do I talk about uh, so many so many people uh, have issues with uh, money and talking about lotto or lottery. But for me, lotto or lottery is not gambling unless people are taking it, you know, taking advantage of it. Uh, I just believe like the bare minimum, just getting your numbers there, five, ten dollars. If you can do it for two dollars, do it two dollars. Some countries, they don't, they're, they're very expensive. You don't spend a lot of money. But I certainly don't believe in gambling. Otherwise, I would have said go and put it in the stock market. For me, the stock market could fall any moment, but opening a window um, for the for for the universe to give, uh, I always believe in lotto or lottery. So I've explained that, and um, moving on along, we do the th we did that actually. So there's expansion, there is relocation, and there is a drastic change in your money. Your dreams are going to be established, and you've got the um, the empress helping you establish all your dreams at the same time. So we've established all that. Let's see what else you need to know. 
know anything that we haven't talked about yes some of you are feeling hurt and angry about what has happened uh, you're setting boundaries and you're upset perhaps uh, you were feeling abandoned but you know what with the boat the universe says you are going to get exactly you are going to receive exactly what you need and you are going to be moving on and there will be closure issues you will um go through closure and finally you are going to go through healing the universe is going to heal you and they are have they are going to give you a gift the gift is also about a gift from the universe so let's have a look what else you need to know okay so it says here new exercise program some of you could be starting a new exercise program a new something in your life which is the hierophant also starting something new in your life upgrading your life changing your mind i think yes some of you are changing your mind about certain things there is a change of mind let's see your angelic cards what they've got for you for everybody okay i've got to cut them march 28th okay so there is a matter of children or a matter of pets it says your love life is being affected by children or by pets what else for the 28th of march it says here that reconciliations, wow, some of you could be reconciling. Someone from the past is returning into your life. It could be your past life lover um, that we talked about, soulmate that comes from past life, or um, whoever it is, you are going to be exceptionally happy because you are destined to be uh, emotionally fulfilled. The Nine of Cups is happiness to the highest level where you don't need anymore, and you've got the soulmate and the reconciliation, someone from your past coming and... Um, and this is where um, I feel this is where whatever you need, um, you're receiving exactly what you need. So you're receiving that. Let's see what the message is for the collective here. 28th of March. The truth. Just one card. Oh, maybe this one. Yes. Okay. Forgiveness, maybe that's why you're healing, you're forgiving. It says stop focusing your um, energy on the past events, what happened. Stop thinking about the, what happened in the past, let go. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So create a new reality and let go of the past. That's what the message is here. Let's have a look at your Chinese cookies and see what they want to tell you for today. March 28th, 1. For the whole collective and there's the other one so we've got one and two now with these i need glasses on okay so we've got sexuality all right sexuality says exciting relationships um could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong but if single beware of temptation that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy so exciting relationships and there is um, a chance for good family life marriage opportunities of marriage well when you have the soulmate that's all possible but for some it says uh, there is another matter tough and trying times are ahead think long term make decisions accordingly long term and avoid negative people at all costs okay we've got to look out for the tough times and think ahead your decisions based on long term especially when you're investing this is very important there's money coming investing you've got to be careful where you're investing so that you won't go through any losses and that is the end of your reading i do hope you enjoyed my dear viewers thank you all for being here i wish you abundance of happiness and joy happy birthday to those celebrating march 28th have a glorious day and a very happy birthday and those of you celebrating anniversaries on March 28th I wish you um, the best of the best and for everyone each and every one of you being here thank you all for being here I wish you abundance of love and light and blessings to each and every one of you namaste